I'm going to trigger a Jenkins build with a special command in the commit message. I'm going to use automation for Jira and the DevOps triggers provided by the Better DevOps Automation app. Now let's see what it looks like. Let's say we have a few changes in this repository that we want to add quickly and create a commit. First, I want to reference a Jira issue in the commit message. And after the message, uh, at the end of the message, I can use the at build command. Now what it gives me is the flexibility to decide if I want to run the Jenkins build or not. If, I, if you have a, an expensive long running build that you might not want to run after every single commit, you can do this with, with this command and decide if you want to trigger the build and trigger the build only when necessary. And you can also give this opportunity and this, and this capability for your developer team to use. So let's see if it works. I want to push the changes to the server after I commit it. Just hop over to Jenkins. And in the lower left corner, we should see the build starting momentarily. Yep, it's, it's there. It started and ran triggered by the at build command in the commit message. Now let's see how you can create a DevOps automation like this. Before you get started, make sure you have all the necessary apps installed. For instructions, check out the description of this video. We're going to start building our rule in automation for Jira. From the category of triggers, choose DevOps. These are the triggers that are provided by Better DevOps Automation for Jira. For automating a Jenkins build, we're going to need Genius Commit Created Trigger. This is the DevOps trigger that allows you to access all the custom commands that you set up in Better DevOps Automation. For triggering a Jenkins build, we want to use the at build command. Let's save this and go over to creating a new action. For an action, we're gonna need to send out a web request to communicate with Jenkins. At this point, it makes sense to pull up the Better DevOps Automation documentation and see the configuration steps for starting a Jenkins build with a specific command. Basically done the first few steps of the configuration we are creating a send web request action right now. We made it clear and easy to copy the webhook URL. So we can just choose this one click uh, copy option and paste the webhook URL over to our rule. As you can see, there are a few parts of this URL that are just placeholders. For example, the Jenkins server base URL. So to figure that out, I just want to get hop over to Jenkins and copy the base URL from here over to the rule to this URL here. At the end of the URL, you have your Jenkins job name, also from your actual URL in Jenkins. And copy that over here. Okay, so we constructed the correct webhook URL to call uh, from this automation for Jira rule. The next step in the configuration is adding a header, which is called authorization. The value of this authorization header will be the base64 encoded version of your Jenkins credentials which will be constructed from your Jenkins username and the API token created in Jenkins. Let's just quickly review how you can create an API token in Jenkins. If you go over to your admin panel and choose configure, we have the API token section. You can add a new token here, give it a name and generate. This is your API token, which will be used to create your credentials for the automation for Jira rule. If you don't know how to encode your 
uh, credentials, you can use this safe online form that you can use uh, and access from the better DevOps automation documentation. This is very straightforward to use. You can just put your username here and the token that you just created and encode. This will be the value of the uh, authorization header that you want to use here. The HTTP method can be left as post and you can save this action as it is right now. Let's uh, give it a, the automation rule a name. And turn it on. That's it. You just created the, your Jenkins automation DevOps trigger and automation rule. And you can give it a try. Just similarly what I did um, a minute ago. Let's add all the changes that we have in the repository and create a commit. Type in the add build command in the commit message, commit and push. And you can see it in the lower left that our Jenkins job has started and running successfully, triggered by the add build command in the commit message. For more DevOps automation options, watch the next tutorial video and find a link below to start your better DevOps automation trial for free. Don't miss our upcoming videos. Click the logo in the middle to subscribe to this channel for Midori updates and tutorials.